On some occasions, time seems to fly, like when you're so close to a game's next level. But other times it slows to a crawl, like that moment before your first kiss. Of course, the rate at which objective physical time passes is always constant for you. Unless you're moving at a fraction of the speed of light. But it certainly doesn't feel that way. Think about how long these five discs appear for. Were all discs on screen for the same amount of time? Or was one there for longer than the others? Research shows that more people think the disc coming towards them stayed there for longer, when in reality all five discs appeared for the same duration. In psychology, this is known as the time dilation effect, not to be confused with time dilation in physics. This is only one example about distorted perception of time. It also happens when we listen to music. In 2004, the Royal Automobile Club Foundation for Motoring deemed Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries the most dangerous piece of music to listen to while driving. They said the frenzied tempo warps the driver's sense of speed, causing them to be fast and furious. The effects of music get more interesting when we look at the music's intensity, its direction and volume. Studies have found that we perceive looming, crescendoing sounds to last longer than receding sounds, the audio analogue of the growing disc. Imagine if something was coming closer and closer towards you, no way, like an ill-tempered sea bass. When we first spot the sea bass, the sensory experience of it looming towards us means our visual and audio cortices light up. So we can see and hear it, but how do we know it's a threat? Another brain region that's also really active is your superior temporal sulcus, also known as the STS, that's involved in the perception of biological motion. If you saw a photo of a sea bass, it's how you perceive the bass is swimming and how you know what direction it's moving in. If you sense the bass is looming towards you, that can alter your perception of time. Your SDS is just doing its job, telling you to avoid potential threats and collisions all before your fight or flight response kicks into help. And if you happen to have a close encounter with an ill-tempered sea bass, whatever you do, don't play a ride of the Valkyries! If it felt like time flew during this video, research says you're actually more likely to rate it as fun. And speaking of fun, subscribe to Braincraft. I have a new video out every other week.